yes yes Kenya Tamu sana tamu sana yes tamu sana Kalonzo Musyoka drops a bombshell on the deep state <laughs> the very first time Kalonzo is dropping a bombshell We all know ladies and gentlemen that yesterday Sunday Kalonzo Musyoka was to attend a funds drive in Nyandarua County at Ruanyambo let me read it for you at Ruanyambo Secondary School then along the way as they were heading to Ruanyambo Secondary School their motorcade was blocked and actually they were tear gas <laughs> that was yesterday Sunday then upon them being tear gas this is what Kalonzo Musyoka said <laughs> Yes. Speaking on Sunday after being blocked from attending a meeting in Nyandarua County alongside area governor Francis Kimemia, Kalonzo accused the police of being used to harass politicians. This is what Kalonzo is now saying. There is someone and I don't know who that person is who heard that Kalonzo is visiting Nyandarua. And, and got scared <laughs> but we will pray for that person kalonzo said on his part governor kimemia said we are not happy for what has been done to us today and particularly as people who are assisting the government kalonzo and kimemia was scheduled to attend a funds drive a fundraiser at kinango however The motorcade was stopped and denied access to Ruanyambo Secondary School where the fundraiser was to take place. That was yesterday. Man Stevo blocked from attending a fans drive. And I also heard him yesterday saying that why is it that the one in Kisumu was not stopped? Something like that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's Kenyan politics ladies and gentlemen. And when you see a senior personality, a senior oka personality being stopped or being blocked from attending a fundraiser, then it really tells a lot. It shows that Uhuru Kenyatta is definitely a hands-off president. He is a hands-off president. He has de delegated duties to government officials to do their work and these government officials these are the same same people who tear gas kalonzo musyoka yesterday in kinango these are the same same people ladies and gentlemen who arrested eh? we had a by election in bonchari constituency and we all know the uh, that odm party a very senior partner in the handshake team we all know the ordeal that odium went <laughs> went through on that day so this only shows ladies and gentlemen that uhuru kenyatta is a hands off kind of a president at the moment is becoming hands off some people are taking that advantage <laughs> to show the kind of metal they are made of because power you know when power gets into your head it corrupts your head and most likely kalonzo is blaming the police mm. and then we are we are also meant to believe that the police when contacted they were just trying to say that they are just implementing the order or rather the directive that was given by the cabinet secretary for interior fred matiangi that there should be no political rallies or any gathering for the next 60 days two months So this only shows ladies and gentlemen that Uhuru is a hands off kind of a president. And also this also shows ladies and gentlemen you know at times you know there are this tanga tanga let me not call them tanga tanga you know Raila Raila Ken, Raila Odinga has some political rivals and any time Raila has been frustrated by the government then the political opponents specifically on the side of tanga tanga have been saying that you see uhuru anachezea raila <laughs> yes unaona uhuru anacheza anachezea raila but not knowing that it sometimes uhuru kenyatta 
even does not know what sometimes is happening. Uru Kenyatta maybe just receives, maybe briefs later in the day of what has happened or how things went. Mm. But at the moment, for example, as I talk now, the police need not even to get directive all the time from the president. And sometimes they act on their own behalf. Mm. Then later maybe it turns out that they might have stepped on a wrong, a wrong toe. So that realization, or rather that action by the Kenya police, just proves that Uhuru Kenyatta is a hands-off president. And it also shows something, ladies and gentlemen, that Kalonzo Musyoka, or this thing called Oka, hmm, Oka is really not in the inner sanctum of the system. They are not in the inner sanctum of the president. Because during Madaraka Day celebrations in Kisumu, we saw Raila, he was transversing some parts eh, of Kisumu, even before Uhuru jetted into Kisumu, in Kisumu. He, he, he was addressing some very big gatherings, but he was never stopped there. He was never stopped. So it simply means that if you compare Kalonzo Musyoka, Musale Mudavadi, and even Moses Wetangula, and then you compare Raila, Raila is more closer to this deep state, or rather to this power, this center of power, compared to these other people called Kalonzo Mudavari Wetangula. Raila is more closer to it than the likes of Kalonzo Musyoka. And that's why Raila's meetings in Kisumu recently went on very smoothly, even though he met, he was addressing some large crowds even before Uru came to Kisumu. But now Kalonzo just going to a fine fans drive, he's being blocked on the way. That also tells us that this, uh, this deep state, there are people who are closer to it and people who are not very, very close to it. And then going towards 2022 election, ladies and gentlemen, you know I've always maintained in this YouTube channel that Kalonzo and Moses Wetangula, these ones most likely will support the candidate Uhuru Kenyatta will endorse. They will support that candidate. Because Kalonzo and Moses Wetangula, all they want is to be in the next government. Kalonzo has tested the political cold for now two consecutive elections, eh? 2013 and 2017. He has tested it. And I'm very sure Kalonzo cannot make a mistake of again going to the political cold. Mm. So Kalonzo, if you look at his body language, he knows pretty well that the government side, or rather the deep state side, will definitely carry the day. So Kalonzo is, wants to be closer to the deep state. And that's why most likely Kalonzo Musyoka will never bolt out of this handshake arrangement. He will stick there. Wetangula will stick there. And we did analyze that in our yesterday's video. So all these frustrations, ladies and gentlemen, it does not show the frustration, does not show that now... Kalonzo and Uru Kenyatta are not in good terms. No. Or that Uhuru and Achezia Kalonzo, no. These are just government technocrats, or rather the deep state, that are just doing their things, mm, even without the president knowing. And that's why we saw something like that happening yesterday. And then, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, let me make it very, very clear in this YouTube channel today that going towards 2022, even before 2022, we are going to see very, very interesting political development. We are going to see politicians crisscrossing, some crossing this other side, some the other side, and then returning, something like that, most definitely. And we are prepared to do that job. We shall be giving you the accurate picture on a daily basis eh, on exactly what is happening. So if you've not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, I kindly request you today, to tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell. That will enable you to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. In this YouTube channel, our sh schedule is to upload two videos per day, one in the morning and then one in the evening. That's our schedule. So make sure you watch our two videos per day. Otherwise, God bless you. God bless Kenya. And before I forget, I've pinned my WhatsApp number on the comment section. You may want to have a private chat with me or even to support this show or program. 
contact me through my WhatsApp number. I've pinned it down on the comment section. And let's talk and see which is which. Otherwise, tamu sana. Tamu sana. Tamu sana.